Hello everybody, Assassinator back with another Xbox catch-up video for September 23rd. Now I'm going to be covering what has taken place over the last few days because I haven't done one of these videos. So the big topic is going to be TGS because a lot came out of TGS, especially the Xbox presentation. So that's going to be the main one that I focus on because all the other ones, they were kind of just little small announcement, uh, repeat announcements, things like that. So the first game I want to talk about is uh, Pal World, which is going to be releasing in 2024. To me, it looks like Pokemon with guns. Not exactly sure what this game is, but it does look interesting, so I will be following along to see if it's going to be a game that I'm going to check out. Next, it was announced that there's going to be a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. That will be releasing on September 26th. It will be day one into Game Pass. It doesn't seem like there's going to be a physical version, or at least here in the US. But there will be plenty of courtroom drama, along with solving mysteries. And then Octopath Traveler 2 finally got announced. Now for some reason, we got Octopath Traveler 1, but they never released Octopath Traveler 2, at least on the Xbox. They did for other consoles, but not the Xbox. Well, it's finally going to be releasing in early 2024. This is that 2D, 3D style JRPG. It's interesting because you can choose 8 different characters, that's why it's Octo. So you can choose 8 different characters and kind of go down a different path. Now I haven't played the first one, but I'm going to try to check it out before this next one launches. And then it was announced that Like a Dragon Inchi, which is the latest Like a Dragon game that released already, is going to be coming to Game Pass in 2023. So it has to be coming to Game Pass, I would say, within the next three months, the next 90 days. I don't know why they didn't just give us a, a date, but maybe it's just because they want to kind of have it as like a little surprise. That's at least all that I can think of. And then there's Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, will be releasing on November 9th, but it's going to be day one into Game Pass. So again, we're getting the Yakuza and Like a Dragon games. It seems like almost every one of them is coming into Game Pass. And then it was announced that a trial version of Infinite Wealth, which is the next Like a Dragon game, will be included with the purchase of the game or included with the Game Pass version of the game. Xbox also announced a new track that's coming to Forza Motorsports, which is the Pokun Circuit out there in Japan. It was also announced that if you buy or play Forza Motorsports, you will receive the 2024 Corvette E-Ray and Forza Horizon 5 starting on October 10th. Then we got an announcement for another Fallout 76 expansion, which is called Atlantic City. It will be releasing on December 5th, where you'll be able to explore new locations, meet new factions, encounter new creatures, earn new rewards, and play new missions. I know Fallout 76 had a rough start, but it seems like it's come a long way. I know a lot of people who are saying that it's a great game now. So I definitely say you should check it out if you are into the Fallout type games. Then we got the announcement that Exo Primal Season 2 will be launching on October 18th. It will have the Street Fighter rig, so you'll be able to play as Gaiu, Ryu, or Chung Lee it looks like. Uh, they'll also have a new 10 player co-op final mission named Escape. They'll have new cosmetics for your rigs and a new location called Ocean Rig. Now, like I said in a previous video, I do enjoy Exo Primal, and I was just waiting for them to kind of give an update because it kind of got a little stale. But I will be returning to try to get some of these uh, rigs along with just having some fun in the game and hopefully heading towards my 100,000 kills so I can get my last achievement. So next up, we have Party Animal news, which is that Ori and Naru will be playable characters in Party Animals. And they'll both be purchasable starting on Monday, September 25th, so only in a couple of days. And you'll be able to purchase it with earnable currency called cookies. So you won't have to spend real world money in order to purchase these things. You just got to play the game, complete some challenges, or level up in like what is kind of like a battle pass. And you'll end up earning the cookies. So make sure if you're playing the game right now and you're earning cookies, save them. Because we don't know how much they're going to be in game, especially if you want these. And then we have Persona 3 Reloaded, which will be releasing on February 2nd, 2024, day one into Game Pass, we got a brand new trailer. And then Persona 5 Tactica, releasing November 17th, also day one into Game Pass. So you might notice that Sega and Atlas is giving a lot of love to Game Pass. And then Euden Chronicles, it was announced at the Nintendo event, and it did come out that it was coming for Xbox, but then it was officially announced coming to Xbox, April 23rd, 2024. Then PUBG put out a new trailer for a new map that's coming in October. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm going to attempt it, Erangel. Then Wulong Fallen Dynasty will be getting a new DLC. It will be the second DLC called Conqueror of Jiangdong. Again, I probably butchered that name, but I attempted it at least. 
Now that will be releasing on September 27th. There was also a new game reveal called Hotel Barcelona releasing in 2024. And My Lovely Empress launching in 2024. Then after that showcase, they had the Capcom showcase. Nothing really big there because all they talked about is things that we already knew. I mean, they talked about Exo Primal. They expanded upon it a little bit more along with Ace Attorney Trilogy. Again, we talked about that at the Xbox presentation. Resident Evil 4 Remake DLC. Again, that's something that's already out. I talked about in previous videos. But the biggest thing that they talked about was that Dragon Dogma 2 got a 9 minute deep dive gameplay trailer. That's that fantasy action RPG. Overall, it looks pretty interesting to me. Never played the first one. I never really heard anything about the first one until the second one was announced. Or at least it wasn't on my radar at that time. But I might be checking this out. Of course, I just need more info on it. So we're moving on from TGS. And we're going to be talking about, I guess, the regular news. The regular topics that I'd regularly talk about when we don't have a presentation. So there is a lot of duty coming out over the next three weeks. So we have Call of Duty Next, which is the presentation on October 5th. Then we have the closed beta for Xbox players on October 12th and 13th. That's for people who pre-order the game. Then we got the open beta, which is for anyone, whether you pre-order the game or not, which is October 14th through 16th. And then we finally get the Modern Warfare 3 launch on November 10th. So those are the main dates that you probably want to know about. There are more dates to kind of, I guess, know about, but those are the big ones that stand out to me. We also got an announcement that Division 3 is in development. Now it seems to be a ways off, so they still will be putting out content for Division 2 with updates and things like that. So don't worry, Division 2 isn't going anywhere. Or at least, probably not until after Division 3 launches. Then we got an announcement that Chainsaw Massacre had 4 million players in its first month. Now this game is in Game Pass. I have played it. I did enjoy it. This is the first type of game I've played in that type of, I guess, format. Now I haven't played it as much as I would like, but there's just so many other games, especially Starfield, that's taken over a lot of people's game time, all their free game time. So this is a game I still have downloaded on my Xbox that I plan to get back to and enjoy. Alright, we're getting a little bit closer to the end. Now the next topic is about My Hero Ultra Rumble, which is releasing on September 28th. It is a free to play game. It is a 3D fighting battle royale with up to 24 players where you can personalize your costumes and emotes. And for those of you who don't know, this game is based off of the anime My Hero Academia. And overall it looks interesting. With it being free to play, I'm going to give it a chance next week. And they did say that new characters will be added every season. So again, one a lot of you should check out if you're into that anime or you're into Battle Royales. Then there was an update on Small Land which will be releasing on console on December 7th. So it's been out for PC for a while. I don't know if it's in like early access PC or what, but I know it has been out there for a while. This is the game that a lot of people said is a more realistic look of Grounded. Now I enjoyed Grounded, so I'm gonna look into this one a little bit more to see if I wanna invest time into it. Now I love Grounded, the only problem was it was taking too much of my time. So if I see Small Lands is gonna do the same thing, I might just have to pass on it. Not because it's not a good game, but because I don't wanna invest that type of time into another one of those games. Now the last but not least story, we're going to end this on a positive note because we got an ABK update. So on Friday, September 22nd, the CMA provisionally approved the ABK acquisition. Now the final ruling is expected before October 18th, but this is kind of a start. This is basically saying that the CMA, as of right now, they don't see any reason why they won't let it go through. Doesn't mean things won't change, so don't count your eggs before they hatch, but it's a very good look that it will, especially because the CMA felt that selling the Activision rights to Ubisoft would resolve the previous concerns. So it looks like Xbox gamers will be celebrating in less than a month. And then I could start reporting on when Activision Blizzard games will be coming to Game Pass. So that's all the topics that I have right now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if this is the type of content that you like and want to see. But until next time, Assassinator out.